Hi all, welcome back to Mummy's Ways. In our previous video, we discussed that control and coordination can take place in both plants and animals. In animals, I discussed that it can be either through the nervous system or the endocrine system. In our previous video, we discussed in detail about the nervous system, control and coordination. Today, we will be dealing about control and coordination in animals, endocrine system and control and coordination in plants in detail. We will also have a small sum up and a differentiation and comparison between control and coordination in both plants and animals. Now, in our today's discussion, let's begin with the endocrine system. The endocrine system is composed of several endocrine glands. A ductus gland is termed as an endocrine gland. Endocrine gland secretes its product directly into the bloodstream. Hormones are produced in the endocrine glands. Hormone is mainly composed of protein. Hormones assist the nervous system in controlling and coordination. Nervous do not react to every nook and corner of the body and hence hormones are needed to affect control and coordination in those parts. Moreover, unlike nervous control, hormonal control is somewhat slower. Hormones These are chemical messengers secreted in very small amounts by specialized tissues called ductal glands. They act on target tissues or organs, usually away from their source. Endocrine system helps in control and coordination through chemical compounds termed hormones. What is an endocrine gland? A ductless gland that secretes hormones directly into the bloodstream is termed as an endocrine gland. Endocrine gland, its location, its hormones produced and its function. The first gland is the pituitary gland which is also known as the master gland. It's located at the base of the brain and hormones produced there are the growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone. Its function include growth hormone stimulates growth, thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the functioning of thyroid gland and the follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the follicles during ovulation. Coming to the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is located in the neck and hormones produced by the thyroid gland are thyroxin. These control general metabolism and growth in the body. Coming to the adrenal gland. Adrenal gland are located above the kidneys and the hormone produced is adrenaline. It prepares the body for emergency situations and hence it is also called as the fight and flight hormone. Coming to the pancreas. These are located near the stomach and secretes insulin. These controls the blood sugar level. The endocrine gland present in the male is testis, which is located in the scrotum and produces testosterone. Its function include sperm production and development of secondary sexual characters during puberty. The endocrine gland present in the female is ovary. These are located near the uterus and secretes oestrogen. The function includes egg production and development of secondary sexual characters during puberty. Now let's talk about what is goiter. Iodized salt is necessary because iodine material is essential for the part of thyroid hormone and it's important that we must consume iodized salt as in turn it is essential for the thyroid gland as it controls the carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism for best balance of growth deficiency of iodine which might cause diseases called goiter. Diabetes Its cause is due to the deficiency of insulin hormone secreted by pancreas which is responsible to lower the blood sugar levels. Treatment includes patients have to internally administer injection of insulin hormone which helps in regulating blood sugar level. In case of flight or fight reaction to an emergency situation, adrenal gland releases adrenaline into the blood which acts on heart and other tissues and causes faster heartbeat. More oxygen to the muscle, reduce blood supply to the digestive system and skin, diversion of blood to skeletal muscles and there is also increase in breathing rate. Feedback mechanism, a type of self-regulating mechanism in which the level of one substance in the body influence the level of another is termed as the feedback mechanism. This is all about 
This is all about the control and coordination in animals. Now coming to control and coordination in plants. We'll be dealing about movements in plants and plant hormones. Coordination in plants. Unlike animals, plants do not have a nervous system. Plants use chemical means for control and coordination. Many plant hormones are responsible for various kinds of movements in plants. Movements in plants can be divided into tropic movement and nastic movement. Coming to tropic movement. The movements which are in a particular direction in relation to the stimulus is termed as tropic movement. Tropic movements happen as a result of growth of a plant part in a particular direction. There are four types of tropic movement. Geotropic movement, phototropic movement, hydrotropic movement and thigmotropism movement. Now let's talk about each in detail. Coming to geotropic movement, the growth in a plant part in response to gravity is called as geotropic movement. Root usually show positive geotropic movement such that they grow in the direction of the gravity. Stems usually show negative geotropic movement. They grow in the opposite direction of gravity. Next coming to phototropic movement. Phototropic movement. The growth in a plant part in response to light is called phototropic movement. Stems usually show positive phototropic movement while roots show negative phototropic movement. If a plant is kept in a container in which no sunlight reaches and a hole in the container allows some sunlight, the stem finally grows in the direction of the sunlight. This happens because of a higher rate of cell division in the part of a stem which is away from the sunlight. As a result, the stem bends towards the light. The heightened rate of cell division is attained by increasing secretion of the plant hormone auxin in which it is away from the sunlight. Now coming to hydrotropic movement. When root grows in the soil, they usually grow towards the nearest source of water. This shows a positive hydrotropic movement. Tygmotropism movement. The growth in a plant part in response to touch is termed as tygmotropism movement. Such movement are seen in the tendrils of climbers. The tendril grows in a way so as it can coil around a support. The differential rate of cell division in different parts of the tendril happens due to the action of auxin. Now coming to the nastic movement. The movement which do not depend on the direction from the stimulus are termed as nastic movement. For example, when someone touches the leaves of mimosa, the leaves droop. The drooping is independent of the direction from which the leaves are touched. Such movements usually happen because of changing water balance in the cells. When leaves of mimosa are touched, the cells in the leaves lose water and become flaccid, resulting in drooping of leaves. So, coming to coordination in plants, a small sum up. Tropic movement and nastic movement. Tropic movement, movement dependent on growth and nastic movement, movement independent on growth. Coming to tropic movement, these are directional movement in response to stimulus and are four types, phototropism, geotropism, chemotropism and hydrotropism. Phototropism is the movement towards light, geotropism towards gravity, chemotropism towards chemicals or the growth of pollen tube and hydrotropism towards water. Coming to nastic movement, which is the movement independent of growth, non-directional movement, immediate response to stimulus. Example, drooping of leaves of touch me not plant on touching it. Now coming to the plant hormones. Plant hormones are chemicals which help to coordinate growth, development and responses to the environment. Types of plant hormones. Main plant hormones include auxin, which are synthesized at the shoot tip. Its function is to help in growth. Phototropism, more growth of cell towards the light. Gibberellin, which helps in the growth of the stem. Cytokinins, which promotes cell division. Abscisic acid, which inhibits growth and causes wilting of fleas. This is the stress hormone. Let's have a small recap on control and coordination in animals and plants in now let's have a small recap on control and coordination in animals and plants. Coming to control and coordination in animals, 
First, let's define what is a stimuli. The change in the environment to which the organism responds to stimuli. Coordination is the working together of various organs of an organism in a systemic manner to produce a proper response. Neuron is a functional unit of the nervous system. Synapse is a microscopic gap between a pair of adjacent neurons. Receptor is a cell in a sense organ which is sensitive to stimuli. Motor nerves carries the message from the brain to the body parts for action. Sensory nerves carries the message from the body to the brain. Olfactory receptor detects smell by the nose. Gustatory receptor detects taste by tongue. Thermoreceptor detects heat and cold by skin. Photoreceptor detects light by eye. Reflex action is a sudden movement or response to the stimulus which occurs in a very short duration of time and does not involve any will or thinking of the brain. This brain is, is an organ present in the skull which controls and regulates the activity of the whole body and is known as the president of the body. Cerebrum is a main thinking part of the brain present in the forebrain area which controls all voluntary actions. Cerebellum is present in the handbrain area and helps in maintaining posture and balance of the body. Medulla is present in the handbrain area and helps in controlling voluntary actions of the brain. Spinal cord is a cylindrical structure of nerve fibers enclosed in the vertebral column which helps in the conduction of nerve impulses to and from the brain. Now coming to the control and coordination in plants. Stimuli, the change in the environment to which an organism responds is termed as stimuli. Coordination, working together of various organs of an organism in a systemic manner to produce a proper response is termed as coordination. Phytohormones, these are plant hormones. Oxen is a plant hormone which promotes cell enlargement and growth in plants. Gibberellin is a plant hormone which promotes cell differentiation and breaking dormancy of seeds and buds. Coming to cytokinin, a plant hormone which promotes cell division and the opening of stomata. Abscisic acid, which helps in inhibiting the growth of the plant and promotes wilting and falling of leaves and foot. Tropism, a growth movement of a plant which determines the direction with the stimulus. Nastism, a growth movement of a plant which does not determine direction with the stimulus. Phototropism, movement of plant towards the light. Geotropism, movement of plants towards the gravity of earth. Chemotropism, movement of plants towards the chemical. Hydrotropism, movement of plants towards the water. And thigmotropism, movement of plants towards a response to the touch of an object. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel.